Hi everybody, it's story time now and because it's such a beautiful day, story is going to be outside today and I'm doing story about something that I find very exciting. And these are dinosaurs. I didn't have small figurines like you have at home perhaps, so I did my story with these big pictures and it's one that I wrote myself. It's called Bronny the Friendly Dinosaur. And you're going to see there's an experiment that I do as well. And for this experiment, I'm going to use vinegar and red food coloring and bicarbonate of soda. So you can ask your mom and dad if they can watch the video with you and then they can do the experiment with you that's in the video. You'll see it will be a volcano. All right, let's go outside and enjoy this story. Come on, let's go. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a friendly female Brachiosaurus called Bronny. Bronny's last egg had just hatched and her baby had gone to find food and was going to come back soon. Bronny was very excited that her baby had hatched had come out of its egg. So she decided to go for a walk. So off she went in the forest for a walk. Along the way she met an iguanodon. The iguanodon was looking very sad. What's the matter? Bronnie said. Oh my friend Terry the Tyrannosaurus Rex has fallen into this hole. Come and have a look. And when Bronny looked inside the deep hole, there was the Tyrannosaurus Rex way down at the bottom. Help, he said. Help. Can anybody get me out of here? I wasn't looking where I was going, and now I'm stuck in this big hole. Help! Help! But Bronny said, I am not going to help you. I am afraid of you. I am a plant eater, but you are a meat eater. If I help you out of the hole, you might hurt me or any of my baby Brachiosauruses. The T-Rex said, I'm actually quite friendly, and I promise I won't hurt you if you help me out of this hole. Please help me. I can't stay here for much longer. So the dinosaurs had an idea. They took an old log from a tree and carefully pushed it into the deep hole. Climb on the log, they shouted. Come on, T-Rex, you can do it. You can get out now by walking on the log. Off you go. Oh, thank you, my friends, said the T-Rex. And carefully, carefully, he climbed up, 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 up the log and out of the deep, deep hole. Yay! Please don't hurt us, they said. No, I won't, said the T-Rex. Just then, they heard a rumbling sound coming from the mountain way behind them. It was a volcano. It had not erupted for many years. Suddenly, it began to erupt and the hot lava came out down, down, down the mountain. The dinosaurs were scared. Quickly, Bronny found her babies and then they managed to get away from the volcano to another part of the mainland. Hurry, hurry, we must go quickly, the dinosaurs said. And off they went and they managed to get away from the volcano that was erupting down the mountainside. And they were safe and sound 
in their new home. The end.